Well, I'm sitting here next to Silas Carson, a uh, famous actor of all three Star Wars prequels. Mr. Carson, you've um, played in both, well, in the three. Uh, which memory do you hold most dearly? I think probably um, doing the last one in Australia because all of us knew each other very well by then. So it was kind of like uh, getting a family back together again, you know. And also Australia is a fantastic place in which to film. And we were out there for three months, so we spent a lot of time drinking and shooting pool and, you know, in enjoying our time out there. It was lovely. Um, do you actually know why you, as one of the few British actors, uh, were picked ahead of the Australian actors? You know, the thing about it is that I had already yeah, you played the three, the yeah, three sure. characters and done their voices in England. Mm -hmm. So it was a question of, of you know, continuing those roles. Mm -hmm. you know, so there wasn't much point in, in casting somebody else and casting somebody else to do the voices as well because it wouldn't have been consecutive. Was it just a case of availability? I mean, were you available or did you have to say no to other projects when Lucas asked you for the film? Uh, no, I, I was available to move a lot of my filming dates around because I was doing a television series in England and I was doing a movie in Germany. So it was exhausting because I was flying back and forth from Australia and they had to move the dates around a lot. The third one, uh, they just booked me for, for two months and I stayed out there the whole time because it was too exhausting to keep coming back. Um, do you actually consider it the current high point in your career, the three Star Wars prequels, or you don't? Um, it's funny because, uh, you know, Star Wars exists in perpetuity for everybody else, but for me it's a job I finished filming, what, seven years ago. So I've kind of moved on since then. I wouldn't say, I don't, I don't really pick any job as a highlight, because everything's so different. You know, you, I couldn't compare doing Star Wars to doing uh, a different live action movie. I couldn't compare that to doing a whole television series. And I couldn't compare that to doing theatre. And I couldn't compare that to doing voiceover work. Because they're all very different things. And is there any favourite in those? Not really, no. There isn't a favourite, no. I, you, you tend to want to do something different. So, the last three or four years I've been doing a lot of television work. And uh, in the last two years, I did a couple of theatre jobs because I was getting very tired of doing television and, you know, you, you want to regenerate yourself, you know. So I don't have a favourite, but there comes a point at which when you've done a lot of film, you want to do some TV. When you've done a lot of TV, you want to do some theatre. When you've done a lot of theatre, you want to do voiceover work. So it's a question of keeping the variety up. But I don't really have a favourite, no. When I think of British television, I think the first words that come to my mind is the classics like Monty Python, Faulty Towers, yeah. uh, even the comedy series like Allo Allo. Yeah. Um, what did you, uh, as a child, enjoy most and what well, made you choose this profession? You know, <laughs> this is a strange thing to say. Uh, I never used to watch a lot of television as a child and I still don't watch very much television nowadays. My favorite program when I was a kid was Starsky and Hutch. And I hardly ever went to the cinema. And you won't believe this if I tell you this, but I never saw Star Wars. Prior to filming the prequels? Prior to filming the prequels. Well, I did. I watched them all a week before I was due to start filming on video. I had never seen them. I just didn't go to the cinema much as a kid, and I didn't watch television. I used to read a lot of books. But the thing that got me into um, acting was when I went on stage in school. Uh, the school I went to, they always used to do a, a school musical and a school play when you're in the sixth form, so kind of age of 16, 17. And I went on stage and just fell in love with it. So it kind of happened by accident, really. You know, which, which is a shock to a lot of people, because a lot of people think, you know, you played three, four characters in Star Wars in all three films, you know. So you must have always, you know, loved Star Wars. Did Mr. Lucas ever find out about your lack of Star Wars knowledge? I, I told him in the interview okay. before when I actually did the audition. And I think that's what he liked about me. Because most people, you know, most people who, who've worked on Star Wars really, really wanted to be in the movies and were great Star Wars fans. And I told him straight up, I said, I've never even seen them. He said, really? I said, yeah. He said, you must be the only person in the world who's never seen them. I went, well, you know. I'm sure he, appreciate, he appreciates your honesty. Um, final question. Uh, I think maybe your f most famous character is Kiadi Mundi. Uh, 
was it kind of a, a positive shock to discover this action figure made of yours, made of your uh, likeness? No, it wasn't a shock. No, look, Star Wars was built on the franchise, wasn't it? I mean, that was, you know, that was... I mean, just the fact of being able to hold yourself, a small version of yourself... Well, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. And somebody did do, the, the guy who made all of the models, uh, did do a prototype of, of this character, Lieutenant Williams, who is actually me, yeah. you know. Uh, it didn't, they, in the end, they didn't sell, but I have a prototype model, and that's really weird because... You know, Kiari doesn't look like me, Newt Gunray doesn't look like me, but I've actually got on my mantelpiece a model of me, and that's really weird. But it, uh, it never got into um, in full no, production. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, sooner or later, I'm sure it'll ha it's happen because happen. every minor character gets his own action yes, figure. Yes, yes, it'll happen. Mr. Garson. Uh, when George needs some more money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or he makes a new video game and some new. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Garson, I wish you a lot of luck on your further career. Thank and, you. Uh, well, Keep tight and enjoy your stay in Belgium. Thank you very much. Okay. Pleasure to be here. Nice Goodbye. Ciao.